Hello! Welcome to the People's Democratic Republic of the Bump. I'm your benevolent dictator, Duke. Welcome to the chat room, comrades Just Drop, Paradox Zero, Private Steve, and Tivinus. I shall type something into the chat room right away. In Soviet Russia, Isaac binds you. So, uh, I haven't streamed this game in a while. This is probably going to be a disaster because I'm horribly out of practice. Um, just real quick, let's take a look at my stats so far. Um, spoilers for Binding of Isaac if you've never watched a stream or played the game. Um, I have three of the eight puzzle pieces needed to actually fully beat the game. Um, I'm probably not going to do that on stream just yet. Uh, let's take a look at my stats. Well, let's see, I've died 180 times, but I found 184 items. That's pretty good. It's kind of like a, a 1 to 1 kill death ratio, or slightly better than 1 to 1 in an online first person shooter. And I've gotten 12 of the endings, well, 13 technically, counting the epilogue. Um, I assume there's two more, at least. Uh, have you found secrets? Yeah, that's just going to show that stuff. And as for the items, uh, I have, I still haven't found Brimstone or whatever the other two items I still need to get from the original game are. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them is the Forget Me Now, which I've unlocked but I haven't found yet. And, uh, I think that's... Uh, I forget what that is. And then there are a bunch of items from the expansion that I haven't gotten yet. Something happens if you beat the game with a picture. Yeah, uh, I would assume so. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to keep trying some of the challenges. Um, the challenges are... Basically, uh, there's a condition. It's like in the normal game, but there's a condition that you, that you have to overcome. I have uh, overcome the first two. And I will be attempting challenge three, large marge, which basically just means that every level is going to be the XL, uh, the the large labyrinth, or the curse of the labyrinth, rather. And the other thing about the challenges is that you have to play them as Isaac, and you don't get the D6 starting out. You know what? I there's something I've never actually tried. Um, Try selecting a different character. I doubt this will work. And then going back and then trying the challenge. Because it showed the character select screen for just a split second there. Okay, no. It just switched it back to Isaac. You have to play as Isaac. Now, the worst thing about the Curse of the Labyrinth is that normally the first item room is on the house. You don't need a key to get into it. But in the Labyrinth levels, that's uh, not true. So if I find a key, then I can come back here and get that item room. Uh, welcome, Nixolumbrion. So I guess it's kind of a theme week again, like retro week, since I played Spelunky and now I'm playing this. It's a uh, roguelike-like week. I wouldn't actually call them roguelikes, but Spelunky and Binding of Isaac are both roguelike-likes. Yep, I synced the chat. I actually remembered. And I just swapped my bombs for my keys, which means I can't get this uh, marked rock. But, now that I have a key, I can go back to this first item room. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Lilac Blossom. And I got the uh, Bloodlust item, which is the item that Samson starts with. Now, I haven't played this game a ton since the last stream. But what little bit I have been playing has been me attempting to uh, beat the game with Samson, since he's the only character I haven't beaten it with yet. And uh, it's pretty tough. He does start with Bloodlust, which is pretty awesome, but his stats are pretty much the worst stats of any character in the game, which makes it uh, quite a challenge. Now prepare for bad pills. Yeah, yeah, I'm so used to playing as Kane that... Uh, uh, bad pills is uh, an eventuality that I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, 
So, if you guys weren't in my turntable.fm room the other night, uh, you missed a pretty good time. Turntable.fm is kind of a social music site where you can quote unquote DJ and you can queue up songs to play and other people can join as DJs and you can, uh, I mean, you basically take turns playing songs that you like. And uh, it was me, Morris Draconis, our mutual friend, Raphael, and then also uh, stream regulars, Just Drop and Galen Rayleigh. And uh, Private Steve showed up briefly, but uh, but he didn't contribute. He just kind of spectated. Uh, speaking of Galen Rayleigh, there she is. Hello, and welcome. Oxbow is a misty. But yeah, it was a pretty good time. We uh, play music for a couple hours and. I have to say, we have very good taste in music as a whole. The five of us did. It was a very uh, eclectic mix, let's just say. Because of course, Moore's Draconis mostly listens to metal. And uh, some of it was very good. Some of it was uh, a little too extreme for me. But, uh, you know. The whole point is to get exposed to stuff that you might not normally listen to. Uh, I want to go ahead and use my cookbook so I can blow up that barrel in the middle of the room because it's bothering me just sitting there. I was hoping for a uh, secret room to pop up, but that didn't happen. Now the bad thing about Turntable is that uh, it's not available to people outside the US, which is kind of a bummer. I had one person lament on the Facebook that he wasn't able to join. But you know, Europe had Spotify years before we had it here in the US, so it's kind of a, uh, a trade-off. Although I don't really use Spotify anymore. I used to pay for a subscription and use it all the time, but uh, I read a thing that uh, basically gives a breakdown of what artists actually get paid on Spotify and it turns out that they get paid about a third of a cent per album play on Spotify and the rest of it is distributed between Spotify and the record labels and uh, I, I just f felt bad I felt that the money I was, I was spending on Spotify w would be better used to uh, support the artists more directly so uh, instead of paying for Spotify, I'm going to, uh, once a month, I'm going to buy one or two albums that I've pirated and uh, support the artists that way. I mean, not that people should stop using Spotify. I mean, it's a cool service. You can find pretty much, you know, any music that you want. It's a very, well, I, I won't say that, but it is a very large s selection. But um, if I have to choose between spending $15 a month on that, or spending 10 to $20 to buy a couple albums, then I'd rather do it that way. Now, I mean, I'd like to buy every uh, album that I listen to and not have to pirate at all, but unfortunately, I just don't make that kind of money. Alright, I'm going to use my Anarchist Cookbook on the, uh, on the X-Rock X back in this room over here. Oh wait, it was this chest. Yeah, yeah, I guess that must have been it. Um, Taiyu, welcome to the chat room. I don't believe I've seen you before, so, uh, hi. I'm Duke of the Bump, and I like the Vidger games. Anyone that plays Ninja Gaiden, if you do, give me a friggin' hint on how to kill Alma. Um, I play the original Ninja Gaiden on the NES. I'm not sure if that's the one that you meant, but uh, I've never actually beaten it. Actually, I take that back. I have beaten it, but I had to abuse save states in order to in order to do it because I did it on an emulator. Not to mention, some albums are so rare as to be unavailable. Yeah, I mean that's also true. And if an album just isn't available. I don't really feel that bad about pirating it. I mean, even if I... Say there's an album that's out of print, 
and the only way to get it legally would be to pay, you know, $100 for a copy of it on eBay or whatever. You know, the band doesn't see any of that money. The band or the record label. Um, so, I mean, you know, technically it's still not legal, but I don't really think that it's immoral. Who didn't, who didn't on an emulator? Uh, man, even on an emulator, that game's still really freaking hard. Uh, Midoriko, welcome to the chat room. Alright, let's see if I can actually uh, do some damage with the cookbook instead of screwing myself like usual. Oh, cool. Uh, since I have the Bob's Head thing, it also turns all the bombs from the cookbook into poison bombs as well. That makes the cookbook a little bit better. But, you know, I'll still trade it for almost any other item. If I come across one. This is my least favorite boss to get right off the bat. I'd say it's probably the hardest boss you can you you can encounter on the first level. Oh man, it's a stupid crown. All it does is give you money. Yeah, you know, I should probably go check out that item shop. Since I have a key and I have a pretty good amount of money. I just want to come back and get a heart, but while I'm over here, I'll try the item shop as well. Google shut down all the YouTube conversion sites I knew of. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty shitty. It, well, I'm not going to blame Google, since that was something that the record labels pretty much coerced them into doing. Oh, boy. Um, well, the pickaxe or the notched axe might actually be useful, so I'll pick it up. Wheel of Fortune. I mean, I, I think there, there are still programs you can download to convert YouTube videos to MP3 or other formats. Um, but I don't think there are any websites left that are actually still able to do that. And I mean, really... If you really want to get a song off YouTube, all you have to do is download Audacity for free, tell it to record from the sound card instead of the microphone, and just record it off YouTube that way. I mean, there's no way to stop that sort of thing completely, which really just makes it that much more silly. Uh, I need to go over here and get that other heart. Yeah, yeah, I think the uh, Firefox add-on for uh, downloading and converting YouTube videos still works too, as Oxbow mentioned. But yeah, I mean, my stance on piracy is, it's not great, and if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't. Well, okay, that's a first world problem. I don't have to do it, but uh, I listen to a lot of music, and... I don't have enough money to pay for all that music legally. I pay for as much of it as I can, but uh, I just can't pay for all of it. I, I, I mean, the same goes for uh, for television and movies too. Although I'm, I'm a little more hesitant to pirate that. You know, I will try to uh, watch television and movies legally if at all possible. Ah, uh, damn it. So yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pretend that, you know, I'm not breaking the law and that I'm not, you know, stealing. Uh, Claw and Fast Cactus, welcome to the chat room. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm rationalizing. I realize that, but uh, there's no point in pretending that I'm, I'm not. Duke and Ninja Gaiden 1, do you remember the scary face that the sorcerer made? Uh, no. It's been several years since I, uh, since I played Ninja Gaiden. If I remember correctly, I actually own Ninja Gaiden on the NES. Or if I didn't own it, I borrowed it. 
a lot. <coughs> but of course, on the actual console, I never made it past like level three or something. Thanks, vomit guys. You just did me a solid. I don't like the layout of this room one bit. Not one bit, I said. <laughs> that dude's stuck on the secret door. What a loser. After seeing Kickstarter, I no longer feel bad about BitTorrent. Eh? Um... I don't know. I mean, there are some good Kickstarters out there that I support as well. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, if you are in uh, an XL level, the uh, secret rooms can get kind of glitchy. One time I got irrepar irreparably stuck because I bombed my way into a secret room and then I bombed my way out. And uh, I was in a place that wasn't connected to any other part of the map. It was pretty weird. Although there have been a couple updates to the game since the last time I streamed it, so that might be fixed now. But uh, I donated to the uh, the Double Fine Adventure Kickstarter. I kicked in uh, 15 bucks for that. And uh, I donated to um, a podcast called The Comedy Button. And a podcast called Good Job Brain, which is like a trivia podcast. And uh, so far I've I haven't regretted either of those donations. Uh, both of those podcasts give me a ton of awesome content. Oh, and I, I donated to the Shadowrun Kickstarter as well. But of course, these video game Kickstarters, you know, it's going to be a while before you actually see anything for it. Uh, CMA6 Math, welcome to the stream. And hold on one second, please. Uh, Wapa, welcome to the stream. Was thinking about donating to the Shadowrun Kickstarter myself. Yeah, I mean, that one I'm slightly more skepti skeptical about because the people doing. Damn it, this is not good. Uh, the people doing the Kickstarter don't really have the same pedigree that uh, Double Fine does. Or rather, Double Double Fine's done a lot more... Damn it! A lot more recently than any of the guys in the Shadowrun Kickstarter. So, uh, I'm hoping that materializes into something awesome. Damn it! Jesus Christ! These things are kicking my ass. Wow, that was fucking horrible. I'm down to half a heart. Yesterday was my parents' 42nd anniversary, and tomorrow will be my 33rd birthday. Well, happy early birthday, and many happy returns to your parents. Yeah, I probably should have used the devil card there. These things are really hard to deal with when uh, the rooms... Ah, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh well. I told you this was not going to be my finest hour. Alright, well, time to get back on the horse, I guess. Those guys are brutal without flying. Yeah. I mean, if it was, uh... If it was an open room, then, uh, it wouldn't have been that difficult to deal with. But honestly, I wasn't being nearly careful enough. People are saying the game is easier. I am finding it much harder. Um, I mean, so far it seems about the same. Um, I don't know why they're saying it's easier. I didn't get that chest, by the way, because I want to save my keys for the uh, the item rooms. And if I have, if I have an extra, I'll go back and get the chest. Oh wow. There's actually uh, a red chest in a normal room now. Not sure. Not sure if that happened before 
the updates. I think I only ever found the red chests in secret, in secret rooms. Oh yeah, there's golden poop now. I don't think I've shown that on the stream yet. It's basically just poop that might contain uh, money. Health! Uh, Brandon Skyblade, welcome to the chat room. What are the odds it's a troll bomb? Uh, pretty good. Wait a second. I thought I had a key. What happened to my key? That the chest wasn't locked, was it? A locked red chest? Maybe I didn't have a key. Maybe I was looking at my bomb count. I could have sworn I had a key though. Oh well. Two bad pills in a row. Yeah. That's why I hate being Isaac. It's not easy being Isaac. Why aren't you playing as Cain? Because this is a challenge. I'm doing the uh, the Big Bertha challenge, and in the challenges you have to play as Isaac. Which I guess is really where the challenge comes from. I mean, if I was playing as Cain, doing nothing but XL levels wouldn't really be that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, that's worth spending a bomb. <clears throat> I think the only one I think this one only goes for the first boss of the depth though or mom at most yeah uh, the early challenges you don't go all the way into the womb and stuff at least you didn't for the first couple damn it If I get the tick, I won't be able to get anything else. I think I'd rather not. I'd rather wait and see if I find any better trinkets. All the tick does is make the bosses start with slightly less health. It's not totally useful. Damn, I can't believe I died in that last run. That was a pretty good start. I had bloodlust and poison bombs. The tick sticks. Yes, indeed. It also gives you Lyme disease. Ah, damn it! Uh, Morris Draconis and Nufi Banka, welcome. How's Crusaders Kings 2 going, Morris? Are you more interested in the game now? Death, alright. I'm going to use that to uh, deal some serious damage to the boss. Way better, says Morris. Good. I don't know what his name in the chat room is. I, I don't know if he's here or not. But uh, one of my viewers had an extra code, a Steam code, for Crusader Kings 2. And he uh, gave it to Morris, which was very nice of him. If you're here, then I apologize. Uh, Bogdans, welcome to the chat room. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, man. I wanted to go into the item room, not get that. I mean, Mom's underwear is great and all, but... The item in the item room probably would have been better. Oh, good. Although, if I didn't get that chest, then I'd be able to get both item rooms now. Oh well, say lovey. The magnet. How does it work? Who knows? I'm pretty sure it's magic. Attracts items too. Yes, I realized I was making uh I was making an insane clown posse reference. 
because I'm the internet. All right, Monstro. I'll save my de my death card for whatever the next boss is. Cause Mon Monstro, I'm pretty confident I can beat without getting hit at all. Since it's just you know normal Monstro. Of course, now that I said that, I'm sure I'm going to get hit. But yeah, the uh, the turntable room was pretty fun. Anyone who likes music, make sure you're watching the uh, the Twitter or the Facebook, and I'll post announcements whenever I do uh, a turntable room in the future. And for overseas people, sorry, bro, or broette. Oh, that's pretty good. Tears up and two soul hearts. Uh, Rob Bloxes two, welcome. If you're overseas, try a proxy. Yeah, that might work, but in my experience with proxies, the connection speed is too low to uh, to actually be worth using. The tick also gives you one heart as you enter the boss room, I think. Well, uh, let's test that theory. It makes mom way harder. Does it? I never heard about that. Larry Jr. Eh, actually I'm not going to use my death card on this guy either. I'll save it for the caves or the catacombs or whatever I end up facing. Fortunately, it wasn't uh, like Loki or someone like that. I've gotten Loki on the first level before. So, uh, I haven't really been playing anything else since two days ago. Or watching anything else. Or doing anything else. In fact, I pretty much didn't do shit yesterday. Felt good, man. The belt. Well, actually, I think I didn't notice if the tick gave me a heart going in or not. I know that I was down half a heart before I entered, so I'm assuming it did. Oh hey, what's up, Sam? Watching McCant chat due to Angry Baby. It's a cell phone game that's sweeping the nation. Angry Baby. I'm just going to uh, test for secret rooms for shits and giggles. That was a pretty good guess. And I'm going to see if there's one next to the item room. Probably not, but... If there is, it's worth spending a bomb on. Actually, I, sh I, sh I should see if there's a, a secret room. Damn, that might not have been close enough. Nope, okay. I should see if there's a secret room next to the shop, too. Because I've seen that happen sometimes, too. Um, official Red Raider, welcome to the stream. Have I ever gotten the I Am Error room? Once. Okay, well, I will save my other bombs. Yeah, the I am error room is basically, um, the only way to get to it is by teleporting, and there are very s strict conditions under which it appears. I'm not entirely sure what those conditions are, but uh, it shows Edmund McMillan, and uh, it, it gives the message I am error, and there are a bunch of pills there. And then you just teleport out. It's pretty cool. 
Alright, well, that makes up for the uh, health down pill I got. Ah, damn it. I really don't like these things. It's basically a Larry Jr. Although it splits, it seems to split into more parts than Lyra Jr. does. I think it's worth spending a bomb to get that chest, because there might be a key in it. Oh! And I, I got a bomb as well. Fancy that. Uh, poison for the fairies, welcome to the stream. Hey, what do you know, a key? Oh god, I hate these things. You know what? Death. Sorry, guys. Hate to waste a death card like that, but I'm sure if I actually tried to do that room legit, I would have taken a billion points of damage. Which is a pretty impressive feat since I only have three hearts. Well, at least this is going a little better than Splunky did. Splunky's hard, man. It's harder than this game. Or maybe I just suck. That's quite possible. Aw oh, shit, I've been sighted. Everyone gets a shout out. That's the agreement. You come to my stream, in return I will give you a shout out. That's a pretty good item. I'm not gonna lie. I do not regret using a key to get that. I'm faster, I'm stronger, and gosh darn it people like me. Thanks to my huge head. Splunky is really hard. Uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't played it nearly as much as I played this game. But, if I had... I probably wouldn't have made much progress on it. Man, I am really glad I am slightly faster now. Because it makes dealing with these guys so much easier. Oh, god damn it. Stupid troll bomb. Uh, NAR password, welcome to the chat room. Changing Twitch name to my name is Duke and I like to lick testes. Well, that's not very nice. I don't know what I did to deserve that. Hey! That fire tricked me. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm not even going to try taking out those fires. By the way, NAR password, I realized the other day that your name is supposed to be pronounced Narpus's sword, according to your Twitter. But, uh, I like pronouncing it NAR password. Because Nar reminds me of something Pinky from Pinky the Brain would say. I think he says Narf. Which, you know, is close enough. You should change your Twitch name to Narf Password. And then change your password to Narf so people can impersonate you. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm glad I saved those pills. That was very useful. Really helped me out of a jam there, Pills. You say that as if I think something is wrong with leaking testes. Well, um... I mean, it's not an activity that I would enjoy. Um... I mean, I absolutely you know, don't have any issue with people that do, but... It's, uh... Not my cup of tea. So I got to leave work an hour and a half early today because we didn't have any work to do. That was pretty badass. Um, Abraham Lincoln, welcome to the chat room. Every time you come to the chat room, I will give you the name of a different deceased U.S. president. Which is really more 
respect than you deserve with a name like that, but, uh, you know, I like to see the positives in people. By the way, in the rules for my chat room, I added that if you have an excessively silly name, I will give you an, a new name of my choice. So, you know, it's codified now. I couldn't call you by your actual name if I wanted to. Agent Rainer 96, welcome. He's only on the catacombs and the game is throwing the worst rooms I've seen at him. Yeah, man. This game is not being nice to me today. You know what would be awesome? A heart. That would just make my day. Uh, oh, well, I couldn't get that if I wanted to since I have the tick. Spoon, etc. So I didn't get any form spring questions. So I'm going to answer the default form spring question of the day. Am I looking forward to the Olympics? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really interested in the Olympics. Um, as static, welcome to the chat room. Can I get to the slot machine? I don't think it was a slot machine, was it? It's, uh, it's this dude. Although, I do have 22 coins, so... Oh. Well, that, uh, that worked pretty well. Aw, oh, god, more? You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. Kinda sucks that the first item I got was the magnet. I mean, it's useful, but I'd rather have, like, technology or something. Oh, thank you. Oh, having half a heart was making me pretty nervous. Well, I know exactly how to get to the boss now if I want to. Oh, this is... this does not look good. Ugh! Ah! Damn it! There was just no... nowhere to run in that freaking room, man. <sighs> the layouts end up killing me more often than the enemies do. I mean, the enemies are still, you know, the actual cause of my death. But if it wasn't for the layout of the room, then I might have been able to pull that one out. Flies are assholes. Yeah, I agree. All right. Oh man, I'm no longer fast and strong and big. I'm no longer harder, better, faster, or stronger. Oh, well, that's a nice bone for it to throw me. What challenge is this? Large Marge. Yes, I don't know why I said Big Bertha earlier. Large Marge. Every uh, level is an XL. Uh, serious Kaku Demon, welcome to the stream. Why so serious, man? Yeah, I guess Large Marge is Big Bertha's sister. I don't even know what Big Bertha is. It's just kind of a, uh... I hear that all the time, Duke. Yeah, I'm so original and witty. Do you have a Twitter account? Because if you do... I'm totally going to tweet that at you. Because I am an internet comedian. I came up with a pretty good joke the other day that I'm kind of proud of, but I didn't get any uh, retweets or or lols or anything. I said, you know, being a teacher must be one of the most rewarding careers there is. Kids are fucking stupid. Which I think is pretty amusing. Because, you know, you don't expect the second line of that joke. It subverts your expectations. Humor is so funny when you explain it. 
good weapon to get early. Yeah, Mom's Contact is freaking awesome. In case you didn't notice, it has a small chance of uh, freezing the enemy. Which is, is excellent against the bosses. I thought it was just general social commentary. Well, no, I don't actually believe that. I think kids, in some cases, can be more intelligent than adult adults. They don't have knowledge. That doesn't mean they're stupid. Ignorance is not the same as stupidity. Uh, speed and range. That's the one I was looking for. I can never remember which one is the virus and which one is roid rage. But roid rage is definitely the preferable. There are three things that you can get in a syringe. There is, um, there's a speed ball which gives you speed and shot speed and there's the virus which makes it so when you touch enemies they become poisoned temporarily and there's roid rage which makes you well, it's pretty much a stat increase across the board I think tier well I don't think it increases the speed of your tiers it's kind of like speedball but instead of shot speed it gives you more powerful shots I think I'll play Isaac along with the Duke cool we can race First one to kill mom wins. No cheating. Uh, let's see, do I want to use a bomb to get that tarot card? Well, I have five of them, so why not, I guess. First I'll get this. The Emperor. That's one that I don't really get that often. In fact, I get it so infrequently that I don't really remember what it does. Oh, another Emperor. Teleport to the boss. Oh, yeah. Well, really, I've gotten both the item rooms on this level. And I don't have enough money to buy anything from the shop. So really, there's no reason not to just teleport directly to the boss. Uh, the PK, welcome to the stream. Cheating in this game is the Epic Fetus. Yeah, I've only gotten the Epic Fetus once. And it was pretty awesome. Of course, now you get Ipecac, which is similar to the Epic Fetus. But not as useful. It's a little more difficult to use. Now see, if you can keep the boss in the uh, pattern of getting frozen, it makes the boss incredibly easy. It's a lot... It's really useful if you're fighting a boss that doesn't move around a lot, like Gertie or something. These guys... I mean, it's still useful, as you can see. Just one he headless segment of Lyra Jr. was frozen. So apparently this game has sold a million copies. Edmund McMillan posted something about that on his blog. Which is really awesome. Ah, shit. It's always great to see an indie game do really well. Ipecac will kill you in the shittiest ways, but yeah, it can give you an edge. Yeah, I pretty much only pick it up if I have, uh, if I'm flying somehow. Uh, Bob Man, welcome to the stream. On your iPhone, thus slow chat. I wish the Android app for Twitch actually let you chat. It lets you watch a stream, but you can't chat with it. Of course, you know, Android always gets sh the shaft compared to the iPhone. Oh, speaking of cell phones, I don't know if I mentioned this on the stream or not, but uh, I'm giving up my cell phone. I mean, I'm giving up my cell phone service. I'm still going to have my actual cell phone. I'm still going to use it as like an MP3 player and a Wi-Fi device. But uh, I just decided that paying $100 a month for a cell phone bill is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's nice to have, and I'm definitely going to miss it. 
but uh, it's not worth a hundred dollars a month. Now the thing that sucks about that is since I'm still on contract, um, I'm going to have to pay an early termination fee. But you know, the two hundred dollars for that compared to the uh, you know the thousand dollars I would have spent on the cell phone bill over the course of another year, the twelve hundred dollars, you know, it, it's a worthwhile trade-off. And of course, you know, I don't actually call people on my cell phone unless I absolutely have to. I just use it as a portable internet device. And I can do that for free anywhere that I have Wi-Fi. So it's, uh, I think it's a necessary sacrifice. So for those instances where I, instances where I do have to call somebody or have somebody call me, I'm just going to uh, get a Skype in number. Which, for a Skype in number and unlimited calling with Skype, it's like $90 a year or something. So, you really can't beat that. Oh, speaking of internet, um, <laughs> I am the master of segways. Nice items. Oh, and the, uh, the devil room. Yeah, but I still only have four hearts, so... I, I, I almost never deal with the devil, really. For me, it's almost never worth it. But uh, speaking of internet, Google is finally unrolling their uh, their fiber optic internet. Right now, it's just in Kansas City, Missouri, which I don't know why it's there. But uh, they have a, a thing, a website where you can actually sign up for it now if you live in Kansas City. And it's uh, 100 megabit internet for... Uh, I think it's like $60 a month, but if you pay a one-time $300 fee, then they just give you uh, a pipeline to their fiber optic internet service, and you don't have to pay a monthly fee for it. Actually, you don't even have to pay the $300 all at once. They have a, uh, a payment plan for that as well. It's like $25 a month for, for two years or something like that. But either way, once you pay for that, you have 100 megabit internet service with no monthly fee, which is pretty fucking amazing. I really wish I lived in Kansas City. Uh, Benji or Renji, welcome to the chat room. It's been a while since uh, since I've seen you. Glad you can make it. I'm dying for a better upload speed. Yeah, me too. Um, if I had a better upstream on my internet, then I could actually stream and. Uh, 720 or 1080p instead of uh, I, I don't know what it is now 480p I guess <laughs> let's move to Kansas City yeah I'll get right on that as soon as someone there offers me a job <sighs> but you know <clears throat> I mean it's only a matter of time until this gets rolled out to other cities so if you live in a major city, then I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if you see a similar service being offered, you know, within the next couple of years. Now, for me and Boars, we live in West Bicot, Virginia, so we probably won't have something like that for the next decade. I could probably run a line from my home in Florida to Kansas City and it'd still be a better speed than I get now. Wow, that sucks. My download speed is actually pretty good. Um, I get a, about, well, a maximum of about 20 megabits per second, which, you know, usually you don't hit the maximum, but um, it's uh, pretty stable at 12 megabits per second or so. Of course, my upstream is only uh, 1.5 megabits per second. Uh, let's see. I missed my magnet, man. West Virginia, West Virginia doesn't even have Fios yet. I thought some parts of West Virginia did. I thought they actually had it, like, in the main part of Charleston. I don't know, I might be mistaken. The last time I checked, it was when I was still living in St. Albans, and they didn't have it in St. Albans yet. 
Of course, I don't even know if Fios would be that much better than what I have now. But yeah, I mean, compared to, uh, to some locations, I mean, f fuck, even Moors can't get as good internet as, as I have, where he lives, because he lives in a, uh, a slightly more rural part of the, the state. Damn, I should have just dropped a bomb when this thing was frozen in the up position. Oh well. Alright, small rock. This item really rocks. <laughs> Would you pop up already? That's what she said, maybe. Apparently. I don't know why she would say that. Boy, this layout really fucking blows, man. Uh, Rob Father, welcome. Fios is 35 down and like 15 up. Oh wow, that is pretty good. Wonder how much that plan would be. Fuck! Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, that's <laughs> that's not what I thought it was. Oh well, still made this area a little easier. So I had a really good game of You Don't Know Jack on Facebook today. It was like a $10,000 game or something. But some asshole still beat me because they were using a 50% uh, a performance enhancer. And I know they bought it because they were like level 7. And I doubt they saved the one that you start out with for that long. Really grinds my gears, man. I mean, why would you pay money to pretend you're better at a game than some random strangers on the internet? I mean, do you really get satisfaction from doing that? <sighs> Not that I'm bitter or anything. 16.02 megabits per second. 0.882 mega megabits per second upstream? Wow, that's pretty awful. Just Drop says, I masturbate to it frequently. Oh, that's why I like having you around, Just Drop. Always available to make an inappropriate comment. Although you do have great taste in music. He played a, uh, in the turntable room, he played a song by uh, Los Campesinos, which is one of my, well, probably my favorite band right now. My favorite band that still exists. Oh man, that's the Cyclops thing. I really don't want that. It makes your tears really large, but it also makes them slower than shit. And we all know shit's pretty slow. Um, MS... <sighs> um... Arthur C. Clark, welcome. From now on, you will get named after various science fiction authors. It has been decided. That item is one of the best items in the game. I strongly disagree. I do not like it. At least the times that I got it, it never really seemed to be worth it. I mean, the damage, the extra damage that you get from it just isn't worth the trade off in speed. It's a huge damage boost. <sighs> Didn't seem like it to me, but if you guys want me to get it, who am I to say no? See, it's a huge tier, but uh, I don't know. See, I always get stuck in these situations where I'm just surrounded by small enemies and the extra damage just doesn't help. Like, if you have a, a swarm of flies coming at you, you know, you kill them in one shot, but since your tears are so slow, 
they still overwhelm you. That's the problem that I have with it. Although it is taking these things out in one hit, it's somewhat piercing. If you get Brimstone with it, it'll kill the final boss in one hit. Fios isn't available in West Virginia at all, and the plan is $100, $109 a month for 50 down and 25 up. Now that's pretty good. I'm paying $60 a month for what I have right now, and that's 12-ish uh, down and 1.5 up. I mean, 20 is the max, but I never actually get 20. But it's not available here anyway, so it's moot. Mon's bra. It's a pretty good item. It uh, freezes enemies on the screen for a short amount of time. Kind of like the effect of Mom's contact, but on the whole room. Brimstone charges automatically when you walk in a room, and when you kill everything in one hit, it works out. See, I've never actually gotten Brimstone, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I like it or not. I mean, everyone says it's awesome, but it's one of those weapons that you have to charge up to use, like the chocolate milk, and I don't really care for the chocolate milk. The only ISP near me is DSL, and we're, we're pretty much maxed out at 6 megabits. Wow, that's awful. Internet in the U.S. really sucks. But, you know, hopefully uh, Google is going to change all that. I think this uh, Google Fiber thing is going to be a game changer. Once they start to roll it out to more than one city. Uh, and Kamius, welcome to the chat room. Well, that was weird. What's with the uh, the white ooze? I don't remember that. Well, that actually worked pretty well, I'd say. We're a fucking third world country compared to Korea and Japan. Yeah, South Korea, obviously. Because North Korea actually is a third world country. You know, I hear they have a website in North Korea now. It's pretty good. It's all about how awesome Kim Jong-un is. And, you know, Kim Jong-il and... Uh, the other one. The first one. Kim Il-sung or something? I hope there are no North Koreans in the chat room. I kind of doubt there are, but if there are, I hope I didn't offend you with that comment. Did you see where uh, North Korea was playing a soccer match or something, and uh, they flew the wrong flag? Like they flew the South Korean flag or something? Is there a worse country that you could fly the wrong flag for? I mean, maybe... I mean, I was going to say maybe Iran, but not really. I mean, compared to North Korea, they're not as nationalistic. That's the Book of Revelations, and I'm going to pick it up. Because it is awesome. Champion Pestilence. Oh, is that what that was? Was it like a different version of Pestilence or something? I'm going to go ahead and use that now. Hopefully I get the habit. Because when you combine the habit and the book of revelations, it's pretty good. Um, it says it's not responding. Awesome.
I've never had this game crash on me before. Come on. Alright, well. Whoa. What the heck just happened? I think it's having problems. And it's not responding again. I really hope it fixes myself because I was having a pretty good game. Alright, I'm not going to press anything this time. Let's see what happens. The game knew I was going to win. Yeah, it must have. Uh, Necrolance, welcome to the chat room. We're just uh, waiting to see if the Binding of Isaac starts working again. Now what? This is really bizarre. Nick Erland says, I was actually watching before, but I forgot I had a Twitch.tv account. Well, thanks for joining the chat room. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. Uh, the King LJ231, welcome. He says, I'm good, just give it a sec. Oh, there it goes. Wow. That was freaking weird. Well, I'm glad I waited. Hey, little flies. That's a pretty good item. takes a while to load on XL floors. I have never had that problem before. Huh. Apparently the uh, the Cyclops shot does have a little bit of uh, a piercing effect going on. Probably a bug with XL levels. Yeah, I guess it must be. So, how about that popular pop culture thing? Pretty relevant, huh? Uh, the only recent pop culture thing I've experienced is Batman, and I already talked about that. Haven't been keeping up with any television shows. What popular pop culture thing? Oh, you know. All of them. I pretty much watch all the pop culture stuff. Oh, wow. This room sucks. I'm half tempted to just teleport to the boss room now. Hey. Well, at least something positive came out of this awful room. Wow, six cents. Thanks. Watching the Twihards lose their collective minds have been has been fun. Is there a uh, a Twilight thing that happened recently that I should know about? Uh, Jack Burton, welcome to the stream stream room. I wish VEI would resolve last minute is issues and release a complete series of the Earthworm Jim cartoon. I never watched the Earthworm Jim cartoon. 
I played the game briefly. I'm not good at it. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually beaten the first level. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Saw that one coming. Use my Book of Revelations. I'm not going to risk getting that last coin, I don't think. I never thought the game was anything special. Earthworm Gem, yeah. I don't really get why it's so fondly looked upon by people. I mean, I guess it was just the humor of the game was something that you really didn't see in games of that era. Which, you know, it's still not really that funny, but compared to other things of the time, I guess it's a little better. I do like the fact that uh, on the very first level, you launch a cow into the air, and then on the last level, it comes down and it crushes someone. Spoilers for Earthworm Gem. That is pretty funny. Oh, Darian Mask, welcome. You're the one who gave Moors the Crusader King's key, right? I thought it was you, but I didn't remember if you actually had a, uh, a different Twitch name or not. Or I might have you mixed up with some other guy. Wasn't me. Oh, okay. I think it was someone with a similar username then. The funniest game on N64 is probably Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Never played it. <clears throat> I don't like the Nintendo 64. I think it's a bad console. And I don't, I don't really think any games on it are, are worth playing. I'm just going to say it. I hate these things. I mean, even the games for the console that people say are good, I don't really enjoy at all. See, this is a situation where I wouldn't necessarily want large, slow tears because these things are just so hard to hit when you're constantly dodging the masks. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's hard to get a hit in on the damn things. I never liked any of the N64's Prime games either. Ocarina of Time and Mario 64 included. Amen, brother. I mean, I've played both of them. I don't really see what's that, what is that great about them. I'm just trolling. I love all Nintendo products. Make sure you subscribe to me on Twitch for more you, uh, Nintendo Felicia. Because, you know, that's what brings in the views. Best game on the N64 is Mario Party 3. Yeah, I will uh, admit that I do enjoy the Mario Party games. As frustrating as they can be. Hated the Zelda games for the 64 utter shovelware. Well, I mean, that's a little extreme. They're better than shovelware, but none of the, or neither of the, uh, the N64 Zelda games are nearly as good as uh, Link to the Past. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. I think I'll save my money. I have 10 coins, I might as well check out the shop. And I have plenty of keys, for the moment, anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, at least this room is easier to navigate than the last room was. Do 
terrible storm here right now. Yeah, I know how that is. We have had our fair share of terrible storms lately. The other day I was worried we were going to get a big one. I was going to knock out the power again. But it just rained for a little while and nothing majorly bad happened. So did you guys get any awesome loot during the steam sale? I briefly talked about the small handful of games that I picked up in the last stream. I didn't spend a ton of money, maybe 20 or 30 bucks, but I got some good stuff that I might eventually play one day. If you're going to be a hoarder, you might as well be a hoarder of digital products instead of physical products. Just so much cleaner that way. <sighs> Tears down! Why would you do this to me, game? Gifted like nine games. Jesus. Nobody gifted me any games. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Wine, wine, wine. I'm just kidding, guys. You know I love you. <sighs> this thing is giving me some tough rooms. Now the large tiers are effective against these enemies. I don't know. There are certain enemies that it's good against and certain enemies that I'd rather have a faster stream of shots. So I guess it's like most items in this game. It's kind of a trade-off. I told you I'd buy you a game, dude. Nah, don't... Don't worry yourself about it. Uh, I have a lot of money. I think I'm going to come over here and see if I can spend some of it. In the game, not in real life. I have a lot of virtual currency. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, that was pretty good. And I got my key back, and I made some profit. It goes Link to the Past, Legend of Zelda, then way down any other Zelda game. Well, I thought uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy was pretty good. I mean, it had its issues, but, uh... It's better than the N64 ones, that's for sure. And I really liked Minish Cap on the GBA, too. Even though it also had its issues. Alright, guy. It's your lucky day. A friend says that Binding of Isaac should have co-op in it. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, that would be pretty cool. I don't know how they would implement it. It's actually really a really good item to get when you have the uh, the Cyclops tiers. Oh shit! Because now my tiers are still big, but they are not as slow as they used to be. The heck is that other item room? George is getting frustrated, and by George I mean Duke. 
And by Duke, I mean... Insert real name here. To the right of the first one, I'd bet. Yeah, you're probably right. But yeah, I think most games could be improved by uh, co-op. Improved with co-op. It's just not always that easy to implement. I mean, really, this is basically a Flash game. Which, it wouldn't be impossible to do multiplayer in that, but it would be pretty difficult. How would co-op work in Mining of Isaac? Well, I assume you would just each choose a character and you would both just be in the same room at the same time. And then in order to leave the room, you would both have to go to the exit of that room. Uh, Kalash239, welcome. I mean, I can see it working. It's just not very likely. Ten bombs. It's kind of hard to get excited about that when there's an item that can give you 99 bombs now. Uh, Oblivix and Dinostra, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining this hilarious thrill ride. Hey Duke, what did, I, what did I miss? Not much. I died a couple times. And it almost locked up and froze, but it started working again. I'm just going to fight enough enemies to get my uh, Book of Revelations up. Which is moot now since I got hit. Really wish I would find the habit. That would be pretty awesome. Or even the battery would be useful. Well, I got a heart, so that wasn't a complete waste. You don't see how every time you restart, you have to go through the dialogue of picking up a new region? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Is this worth using a key and a bomb to get? Uh, well, actually, it would be two keys, wouldn't it? No. No, I want to save at least one key for the item rooms on the next level. Wow, I think, I think this is the biggest level I've gotten yet. It's actually cutting off the top of the map. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's still talking about Zelda. Okay. I like Zelda. I mean, I like the 2D Zelda games. It's just not a series that I'm crazy about. I played a really cool Zelda-style game on Newgrounds today called uh, Seedling, I think. Seedling or Sapperling or something like that. It's pretty nifty. The controls were a little wonky, but uh, it looked cool. I thought the Necropolis and Catacombs were the same XL level. Yeah, uh, I mean, the Necropolis is just the, uh, the Wrath of the Lamb version of the Catacombs. No, the Catacombs is the Wrath of the Lamb version of the Caves. And then the Necropolis is the Wrath of the Lamb version of the Depths. Oh, shit. I walked right into him. Ow. 
I didn't get anything out of that? You've got to be shitting me. Uno momento, por favor. Alright, we got Mon coming up. It might very well be the last boss. I'm not sure if uh, if you actually have to fight the womb for the challenge or not. I'm not doing great on health. You know what? What's that tarot card back there? Is that something I can actually get to? Because it might be worth it. And it also might be worth it to uh, bomb around for secrets as well. Oh yeah, that's like the... Uh, that's the Emperor or something. I'm not going to risk getting hit to get that. I mean, I have 17 bombs, so there's no reason not to. It might just take a, uh, a few moments. Yeah, it's the Emperor. No reason I should go pick that up. Now, I mean, I've already gotten one of the secret rooms, but uh, there might very well be something useful in one of the other ones. Doesn't hurt to check. Although, I have to deal with these freaking uh, spiky things. You know, those things used to disappear when you killed every enemy in the room. Like the uh, the heads that shoot at you, how they how they're no longer functional. Um, Catalyte, welcome to the chat room. The spiky things used to uh, they used to disappear, but now they don't. They just stay in the room even after you've cleared it. It's pretty shitty. Of course, there was a, a bug that you could abuse where if there if there weren't any. Well, I don't know if it's actually a bug. But if you entered the room, and there weren't any enemies, and you immediately left, then uh, those things would just disappear. So I guess they changed that. Oh, now they're arguing about the Zelda timeline. That is definitely the least interesting thing you could probably be talking about. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess I wasn't very optimistic about that wall, was I? Ooh! Ooh! Alright. I'm glad I uh, did this little excursion. They changed the uh, the music. There's a different tune when you unlock this room. All right. Well, I am recharged and refreshed and ready to fight Mom. The three R's. The top secret room, yes, indeed. They're explaining how things came into being. They made a bunch of games and then they had to come up with some bullshit to explain them. I could, I could check the curse room and go back and fill up. Yeah, I thought about it, but uh, yeah, it's all the way on the other side of the map. <sighs> Hi, Mom.
Like I said, I, I'm not sure if this will actually be the uh, the last boss for the challenge or not. Might be. Shit. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Isaac. All right. Cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Yep, same ending as before. And yes, this was Large March. <laughs> Big Bertha, as I like to call it. You get this creepy ass music again. Alright, well, I have a little bit of time, so, uh. Oh, cool! He actually added all the new enemies in. They actually have official names now. <laughs> the human centipede thing is called Bee Liquor. I guess that's the official name now. I think the B stands for Brian. Brian Licker. I'm taking my headphones off because of the music. I don't blame you, man. Alright, well, I have a little bit of time. Um, large Mars taken care of. But I'm not going to do another challenge. I'm going to try to be the game of Samson. Because I haven't really showed off S Samson on the stream yet. And like I said, this is the last this is the last character I still have to be the game with. Samson starts with one heart and one soul heart, which is better than he used to be because he used to start with just a heart. Also, wow, I think they actually upped the shot speed, his starting shot speed a little bit because it seems faster than it used to be. Oh, right, the Dead Sea Scrolls. For some reason, I thought that was the one that gives you a, uh, gives you a random card. That's the, the deck of hearts, obviously. Yeah, the soul heart is the gray heart. That is, it's like a temporary hit point. Yeah, the Dead Sea Scrolls have the effect of a random item. Which can be good, uh, sometimes not so good. Because, you know, it can be the Kamikaze or something. Which is really bad when that happens. Uh, Roy Symphonia, welcome to the stream. And no, actually, uh, it still... It takes the same amount of time to recharge no matter what item effect it has. At least I'm pretty sure it does. So even if it was Kamikaze, it would still take uh, five rooms to recharge. Oh, did they change that? So as you can see, uh, my tears, after I kill a certain number of enemies, they uh, become bloody. Which is the, uh, the bloodlust that Cain start or Cain, that Samson starts with. Alright, see you later, Morse. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out. But yeah, I think I w I'll either uh, play until I beat it with Samson, which isn't likely, or just play until I die. 
just to kind of give you a taste of what he's like. Wow, this level seems so short after doing the large march challenge. It's crazy. Suddenly the stream is lagging really bad for me. Yeah, just refresh. You have to do that occasionally. Yum heart. Well, not helpful since I wasn't hurt, but at least it wasn't uh, kamikaze. We have the uh, slightly more powerful version of the Duke of Flies here. Yeah, they definitely made Kane or... Why do I keep doing that? They definitely made Samson's shot speed better. Because it used to be unbearably slow. Well, that's good. Maybe now I can actually beat it with Samson. But yeah, the Bloodlust increases your damage for every enemy you kill, up to a certain point. There is a maximum. Damn, pageant boy again? There's three times during the stream I've gotten this damn item. Uh, Saya-chan, welcome. And Roblox is too, welcome. Have I beaten the chest at all? Uh, if you mean gotten the chest the big chest when you beat the game, yeah, I've done that. I'm not sure, uh, not sure what else you might be referring to. There's a level of the chest. Well, apparently I haven't gotten that yet. final final level no I haven't I've only beaten um, the cathedral with three characters so far so uh, yeah there's no way no way I could have gotten that yet I still have quite a bit to do in this game I have uh, seven challenges left and I have like five characters I still have to beat it with. And God help me if I even attempt to get all the achievements. Which is not going to happen. Uh, new new, welcome. So I'm just completely curious, how did you guys find Duke? Well, I imagine most of them just uh, stumbled across my LPs. Because I've been doing them for quite a while now. From Let's Play Pugsy? Yes, that's one of my uh, more popular ones. Oh, I guess I should go ahead and use this. Whoa! I, I've not actually gotten this item in the game yet. I've unlocked it, but I have not, I've never actually found the pinking shears. That's the other item that I need, actually. I need the pinking shears. Well, I have to get them for real, since I'm sure this doesn't count. I need to get the pinking shears, the forget me now, and the brimstone for me to uh, to get everything. I found his VVV VVV playthrough on YouTube. Oh wow, that's that's actually pretty recent. I'm glad uh, my streams are actually bringing in new people. Yeah, I unlocked the pinion shears, and I have not found them once during the course of the actual game. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, I better go back and use, use this key on the item room. I found Duke's Pugsy LP by accident. He randomly showed up on my YouTube back when he was starting Gunstar Heroes. <sighs> back in the dark ages of my LPs really hard for me to go back and watch those old ones. I make so many rookie mistakes. Ooh! Look at how fast my tears are now. I love the odd mushroom. It's one of my favorite items. I found Duke on Craigslist under personal favors done for groceries. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm too lazy to walk to the store, so uh, if somebody buys me groceries, then I will, uh, I'll do their taxes for them. Ah, damn it. 
I'm actually not doing too bad so far. Ah, damn it. I've gotten some pretty decent items. Except for the pageant boy. The pageant boy can suck a dick. Ah, damn it. Cat o' nine tails. Makes your actual physical bullets fire faster. I think I may have found Duke from Taz Escapes from Mars. That's another popular one. I never cleared Pugsy because I gave up on taking down the 27 digit password. Yeah, that's what's nice about the, uh, the Sega CD version. Is that you can actually save your game. That's what I, uh, originally beat the game on. And then the LP was done using an emulator. So have any of you guys played Dyad? That game looks awesome. It really makes me wish I had a PS3. Damn, a dime from poop? That's pretty good. Ah, oh, damn it! That fly was entirely too aggressive. It's nice that it's giving me all these hearts, but uh, I don't need them at the moment. Now, if I use the blood machine, it won't actually take my soul hearts, right? Yeah. Okay, well I can use these hearts to use the blood machine a few times. See if I can get a blood bag from it. Huh, sweet. What? Portable blood bank. Why would I want that? That's not what I wanted. Ugh. That does not give me an extra heart. Now I have to be extremely careful not to hit space again. Thank you. Oh, how I miss Kane. He's much better at this gambling stuff. I don't know what I'm looking for at this point. I guess pretty flies or possibly the poop hat. Wow, a nickel. I know this makes for extremely exciting internet television. Wow, I keep making money. This is awesome. Hey, poop out. Come on, poop out. Huh, sweet. Alright, now let's, uh... Actually, I think I'm done. I have 15 coins. I wanna... Well, I guess I could even go into the item shop at this point. Hex, yeah. Please be something good. Oh, that's not bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually don't want the blood back. I need I wanna get the uh the Dead Sea scrolls again. Thanks for reminding me, Necrolance. A <laughs> new hat for TF2. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Since this is an extremely popular game, I think a battery would be a good idea. What do you think? Makes items recharge more quickly. You know, there are a ton of hearts scattered around. Well, if I go into the curse room, it'll take off soul hearts, not regular hearts. So, yeah, I'm done. 
The battery is always a good idea. I agree. Alright. I don't think I want to skip the screen anymore because the last time I did, it caused it to bug out on me. Well, not the last. <clears throat> Not the last time I did, but one of the last times I did. I guess nobody's played Dyad. It's too bad, that game looks awesome. I don't have a PS3 though, and I don't know anyone who has one. Damn! Oh, I love fast bullets. Especially with the uh, the bloodlust, man. That's pretty awesome. Hey. Oh, okay. He gave me the magician. Book of Revelations is almost required to beat the full game now. Oh, I don't know if that's true. I mean, the Book of Revelations was useful for my last playthrough, but I think I would have beaten it without it. Of course, that was just, uh, that wasn't the full game, that was just, uh, up through Mom. It wasn't the womb or anything. Yeah, the Book of Revelations is extremely nice. This is all bonus content, by the way. I could have stopped the stream after I beat Large Marge, so no complaining about uh, about lack of commentary. Ooh, compass. That's not bad. Huh, the Game Kid, sweet. You know, the Game Kid is another one of those items, hey, that I found like once, and I never got again after that. Which sucks, because it's a good item. It's like the Unicorn Horn, but better. Man, Odd Mushroom plus uh, Bloodlust is a very potent combination. Hey, a red patch. That's not bad. Just realized that I only have one heart. Yeah, I have not gotten any uh, health power-ups yet. Which probably means this isn't necessarily going to end well. The red patch, I think, um, if you get hit, it uh, has a chance of having you do more damage and have faster shots or something. Homing bombs, that's not bad. Uh, Jack735, welcome to the stream. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, the red patch is like bloodlust? Well. I already have bloodlust, so I guess uh guess it doesn't really do me that good then. Hey, it's this again. That's pretty good. I wish I would actually find that item in the game and not just have it as a uh a Dead Sea Scrolls effect. But hey, I got a bomb and I got a chest out of it. So I would say that's uh, pretty good. All right, see you later, Tivanez. Thanks for thanks for making it. I 
I already have wings on me. Man, I wish I would get a flying item. I haven't gotten one yet during the stream. There was a while there after the Wrath of the Lamb came out where flying items were super common. But then he, uh, or they re nerfed it so they're not as common as they were. I think doesn't the Bible kill you against the devil? Uh, that's what I hear, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. I know the Bible kills mom in one, one use, but I never actually use it against the devil, so I, d I don't know if that happens or not. It does. Yeah, listen to Abraham Lincoln. He knows his stuff. Ah, damn. The Magician. Oh yeah, <laughs> I used my uh, card instead of my item. Oh, Book of Revelations. It's not bad. Oh well, the Magician card isn't extremely useful, so I don't feel that bad that I wasted it. Ah, shit. Oh. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, speed up. That's pretty good. Ghost Baby. I don't think I've gotten that before. I guess it's like the normal familiar familiars, except that they have ethereal shots. Well, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go back and get the heart if I can. I forget if it was accessible or not. Okay, good. <sighs> I mean, it's still just one heart, but it's better than nothing. It looks like it's spitting and not crying. Yeah, all of the familiars they uh, they spit shots instead of uh, instead of crying tears. I think Ghost Baby was one of my first items. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never gotten it before. Uh, Arthur C. Clarke, welcome back to the chat room. Thanks for returning. I hope I get some soul or real hearts soon. Yeah, me too. Either one would be nice. Although I had soul hearts, but I, uh, I kind of wasted them. I mean, I, I didn't waste them, but I lost them. Book of Sin. Well, apparently it gave me a heart. I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten the Book of Sin before, so I don't know if there was any other effect. The Dead Sea Scrolls is a fun item to get. It can do. So, it, it can do some completely crazy shit. Be glad I got sped up. Yeah, most definitely. Little Chad. Aww. It's Little Chad. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point in turning back now. Aw, oh, Gertie. This is one of my most hated bosses. I don't know why he's not that difficult. I've just always had issues with him. See? I should not have gotten hit there. You know, little Chad, one of those hearts would be useful right about now. Okay. It all worked out. And hey, more food. More hit points, rather. Okay, well. I could go to the curse room. You know, I think I'm actually going to do that.
Well, I have to fight my way through two rooms to get to it, though. I don't know if it's worth it. Eh, screw it. I should go look for a key. Yeah, I mean, that's another possibility. Okay. He tossed me into it. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, let's see, should I go to the curse room from the left or the right? Probably the left is more likely to uh, not be a dead end. God, my shots are so fast. I love it. to the scrolls, thank you. Well, I was hoping for a key, but... Oh well. At least I didn't lose anything. Uh, J... Jake... Jake... Jake for three Z. Welcome to the stream. Your name is silly, but not so silly that I give you the name of a dead president or a science fiction author. Alright, I'm out. I forget what Guppy's head does. It gives you like blue flies or something. Yeah, flies that orbit you. Dr. Zoidbird, well, welcome. Want someone to come to your stream? Why not Zoidberg? Wow. Uh, that's... Kind of inappropriate, J. Krithrizi. Look, your comment was so horrible, you made the game freeze up again. Uh, oh yeah, I have the compass. That's pretty good. I'm glad I have the compass. Ooh, the Book of Belial. It's a good one to get. I mean, the Dead Sea Scrolls is risky, but it definitely adds a cool random element to the game. Uh, Nakulu, welcome. Thank you for coming to the stream. Al, I hate greed heads. Not as much as I hate actual greed. Both metaphorically in the game and in real life. What's Kamikaze do? It hurts you and it basically blows up like a bomb. I found the I am error room. Cool. Oh shit. We need to go deeper. Oh wow. <sighs> do I want to do this? Yeah, why not? Go for broke, that's what I say. We need to go deeper. Uh, digs a hole to the next level. So I miss out on those item rooms, but I'm stuck in the necropolis with only half a heart. I pronounce it Belial. Yeah, I mean, I used to pronounce it like that, and I looked up a pronunciation guide online, and it said it was pronounced Belial, so I don't know. I've had other people say it's pronounced Belial, so I don't know who to believe. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, any other deities that were responsible for me getting one and a half hearts there. 
your divine intervention is very appreciated. Of course, I guess Buddha isn't really a deity as much as he's a, uh, I don't know, an enlightened seer. I would pronounce it fart. Well, I don't know if that f pronunciation is accepted in the, uh, the Jewish community. I don't know. You'd have to ask them. No keys. Well, that's a sticky wicket. Bail is greater than Belial. Belial, trust me on this. Well, what's your uh, what's your expertise? That was awesome. God, I can't believe I've made it this far with only two hearts. I feel constantly nervous. Although I feel better with uh, two soul hearts. I mean, still not perfect, but better. The Emperor jumps straight to the boss room. I went to a lot of church when I was a kid, says Oxpo. Well, that explains why you're an atheist now. Oh shit. Oh hey, the red patch thing kicked in. I look like uh, a dopel, which is the uh, the weird doppelganger thing. I went to the Church of Satan as a kid. How'd that work out for you? I don't think I want to go to the mini boss room. Oh, it's a uh, it's a secret room, which means it's definitely greed. So yeah, I definitely do not want to go in there. I do think I'll go to that game room though. Spend some of my coins, hopefully get a key. That'd be nice. You know, these things can die any time now. Any time. There we go. Thank you. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. <laughs> well, you know, if your dad says you're the spawn of Satan, then that means he's Satan. So that's not a very, uh, not a very good thing for your father to say. Alright, I have 15 coins. I think I'm going to hold on to them. And I'm going to... Well, let's see. I can either open one of these chests or go into the shop. Well, actually, I can open this chest, but not the other one, since I need a key to get to it. I mean, one of these keys is definitely getting used on the item room. The relic. Ah, uh, you know, I forget what that does. I think it like follows you around and drops soul hearts or something. Yeah, I think I have a better chance of getting something good from the shop than one of the chests. Oh my god. Fuck that. Teleport to the boss. Oh yeah, it's Mom. I forgot I was here already. <laughs> Ow. Ow. For a 
while the splash damage on mom's foot was the radius for splash damage was way way too large but they uh, they nerfed that a little bit well they nerfed it back to what it was originally Oh great, it's storming here again. I'm not going to say anything about the power. Except I just did, so now the power is destined to go off again. I used the Dead Sea Scrolls and it was kamikaze. And it killed me. No, it wasn't a glitch. I brought it upon myself. Hi, Hoodski101 and Odin337. Sorry, I just died. God, I was this close to killing Mom. I was this close to getting that achievement. You can't see, but I'm holding my fingers really close together. See, every other time I used the Dead Sea Scrolls, it was something really awesome. It was the Game Kid or the the Book of Revelations or something. <sighs> I guess I pushed my luck a little bit too hard. Look at Samson. Oh, yeah. It's like a graphical glitch. I, I don't know what's going on. <sighs> oh well. Uh, this has been the Binding of Isaac. Thanks for coming to the stream. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun too. If you like the stream, please follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. You know the drill. All the links are down there below the video. Uh, next stream should be uh, Tuesday. But watch the Facebook and the Twitter. I might do a uh, Google Hangout sometime before Tuesday in which I might play a game, or I might watch some YouTube videos, or who knows, but you can come and hang out with me, if you want to. Well, good night, everybody.